Friends, bogans, countrymen, put down your beers. Europe is under threat. This time, it's not the volcano that, like any typical European, has an unpronounceable name and smokes too much. It's an Australianism. It's sweeping through the continent faster than spread betting through a subcontinent cricket team. Which is why the Euro economy is having about as much success as Mel Gibson getting a date. Or the BP chairman asking for a bonus. Europe has lost sight of its lamb heritage. You've got the EU headquarters in a city named after a sprout. The French eating frog's legs instead of lamb legs. Cafes in Amsterdam serving the wrong type of joint. And the Greeks have gone from lamb and pitta to deep fried chook and pizza. What a bunch of cretins. And they can stop gloating about inventing democracy too. It took almost as long to work out who was running Australia as it did to find out the winner of Australia's next top model. No wonder so many people go the donkey vote. Sorry, Stavros. The Italians are on the right track. Lambretta, Lambrusco, Lamborghini. But there's still a long way to go. So the message is clear. If Europe wants to fix its problems and be truly united, it should join Australia in throwing some lamb on the barbie and celebrating International Australia Day on January 26th. Together, we can rid the world of this dark spectre of un-Australianism. We shall light them on the beaches. We shall light them in the streets. And we shall never surrender our tongs until our chops are perfectly cooked. So wherever you're from, don't be un-Australian. Eat lamb on International Australia Day. You know it makes sense? I'm Sam Kekovich.